G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Let's just get my hat straight. Feeling uncomfortable. I'm actually halfway between Tudor Shelter and Dwelling Up on the Bibbleman Feck. So it's so about nine and a half kilometres to go. And I'm stopping for my lunch, breakfast, brunch. And this one is another one from Black Country Cuisine. It's freeze dried. Uh, the beef teriyaki, which is gluten free, Eastern style dish of beef, rice, and vegetables in a soy flavoured sauce. And net weight is 90 grams. Uh, let's find out how much water first. 220 ml of water. So I've got that ready. So I'll get that on the go and then I'll carry on describing this. There it is. I'm looking for my little stove and it's right in front of me. Lighter. Little BRS stove. Great little stove. I'll put a link down in the description where you can get one of those from if you're here in Australia. And if you're not here in Australia, go on Amazon, eBay, places like that. Most have them. It's just a little... I think they're up to the BRS 3000 now. I can't remember if this is 3000, 2000 or whatever. I've had it a few years. I actually bought three. Thinking that I was going to need to uh, get rid of the broken ones as they break. And all three are still going. So I think this one had a bent leg but I just straightened it and that was all good. I think they're about I don't know fifteen twenty dollars Australian dollars maybe a little bit more maybe less well, that's that on there a little stabilizer that's when I remember to pick it up, I use all the time. Very, very handy. It can stabilize. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. I've put the stove over the air, out the way. So most of the noise is over there, so hopefully you can still hear me. So I'll turn that down a little bit so it's not as loud. I've singed on my hairs. Cool. Alright, the beef teriyaki, net weight 90 grams, single serve. Uh, preparation, you add 220 ml of water or four fifths of a cup. That's uh, boiling water. Stir, stand for at least 10 minutes. I normally let it go until about 15 minutes. Nutritional information. Energy, 1,628 kilojoules, which is... Uh, oh, where are we? Oh, yeah. Uh, 390 calories so it's not a lot protein 18.7 uh, total fat 14.6 which saturated 4.5 carbs are 46.6 which 23.8 is sugar and sodium is 1236 milligrams there you go and that's per serving it is uh, the Australian distributor Cedar Sites. The Black Country Foods Limited is a New Zealand company. They've got it, their phone number on here, the whole lot. Uh, you can get in contact with them. That's good. Now the packs we've got here. First of all, it says pull open the base corner of the shake bag to loosen contents. So they mean like that. Yeah, 
try and get all the bits and flavour out of the little corner bits up here. Okay. That's had a good shake. And I'll go back to here, we've got a tear point, which comes straight across here. Actually says, uh, tear to add water. So, Uh, remove any sachets, can't see any sachets. All right, next move is once the water is boiling, we add the water to it. Uh, it says remove any sachets, add water, stand, uh, oh, stated on label below, stir meal thoroughly, squeeze eight, air out, seal bag with the internal zipper, which is here, level here. Uh, and let's sand for 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, stir mill, add more water if desired, eat straight from the bag and enjoy. Now the way you can eat straight from the bag is, we've got another tear point halfway down. So all we're going to be doing is tearing it off and open it up and it'll be a bowl and no need for one of the big extra long spoons and get away with a teaspoon. The tear is there, the notch. So, there you go. Well, that water's boiling. Oh, isn't that quieter? It's a little bit hot, so let's use this as a kitchen mitt. And pour that straight in. Now it's different once you put the hot water in there. Activated all the flavouring. Mm. Try and get down into the, them little corners. Squeeze the air out and reseal it along. The internal zip. So the time is 9.10. So we'll give that, like I said, five minutes, give it a stir, another five minutes to take it up to the 10. And then check it and most likely need to give it another five minutes. So what I'll do now is I'll spill the speed spilled speed the video up a little bit. I'll get myself some water and I'll make a cup of tea and I'll be back with you. That's the water on for the tea. Nothing better than a good copper. Mm. Right, what have I got here? I've got a little... I think I've got this from one of the hotels I stayed in. It's the Dilmar English Breakfast. And now for a strong, full-bodied, flavoured taste. So easy to carry, aren't they? Nice and fresh. Five minutes, let's give it a stir. Smelling okay. When these type of meals first came out, they were like eating sawdust and cardboard. Very disgusting. They've come a long way. Even the really bad ones I've tasted recently are still better than the uh, originals. 
better than the best of the originals, the worst ones nowadays. Titanium handles always get hot. And the advantage is they cool down quick as well. So I better touch up. Better touch it. I'll be able to pick that up in about 30 seconds. Ten minutes now. Let's give it another stir and see if it's hydrated enough. Yeah, chunk of meat or slice of meat. No, a little bit longer. <sighs> now, in 15 minutes. Here's the lower point, so you just tear. It doesn't go very straight, as you can see. I was hoping it doesn't go down. That's it. Oh. Let's get my knife. And now it's a little bowl. You can see in there, very good. So there you go. Let's give it a taste, shall we? First, we'll check the beef. That's okay. Peas. What's this? Onion. Now the rice. Or cook properly now, 15 minutes. Hot top. Or rehydrated properly. Oh, flies make me itch. Let's have another few and taste wise it's it's not something you get from a restaurant, but it's pleasant. I'm not pulling a face at it. Hmm. Let's another stir, see if there's anything left down the bottom. There's a, a fair amount in here, so I'm not sure. I, Complete pig. I've been plenty for one person there. Hmm. I saw that is. 
Not my favourite one of these, but mm, that's all right, I like that. The, the beef. It's got a bit of a consistency and taste of like a, a, a jerky. Not tough, but you, you could, you've got that. How can I put it? It's not all soft and squidgy. It's got a bit of bite to it. Mm. Now, one of the questions is, I have this one again? Yeah. I'd buy this one again. It's not spicy. Not spicy at all. It's nice smooth. Like I said, it's not like you'd get from a restaurant, but it's nice enough. Mm, now feel that gap, that gap in your stomach, feel that hole in your stomach and warm it up at the same time. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll get this one again. Now, if it's the first time you've been to my video and you've enjoyed it, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and click all. And then click the like button. And if you're already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care. Now I'm going to finish this, drink my tea, and carry on walking the next nine and a half kilometres.